2024 Chicago land real estate. Will this be the year sellers rush to sell their homes to take advantage of the elevated home prices? And will that lead to the crash that so many have been predicting? Finally putting buyers in the driver's seat. And will the suburbs finally stop outperforming the city? Stay tuned because we're going to cover that and so much more in this video to make you a more informed homeowner. If we check out the latest predictions from Realtor.com, we see home prices falling roughly 12% in areas like Austin and St. Louis, while other areas like Detroit, Michigan and Toledo, Ohio are expected to see prices rise by 8 to 10%. As for Chicago, prices are expected to move relatively sideways, increasing only by 1.1%. So relatively stable conditions for the Chicago land area. That said, what I see most concerning about this prediction is that Realtor.com expects Chicago land area sales to decrease by 9.2%. That's the amount of homes that are going to change hands in 2024. 2023 was a tough year for many buyers, especially with interest rates staying high throughout the year. And so those buyers that found themselves being able to afford to buy something didn't really have very many homes to choose from when they went out to go look. And Realtor.com expects this year there's going to be 9.2% less homes to choose from and prices are going to be higher. Now, if you take articles at face value and you check out this Fortune article, home prices will fall for the first time since 2012. Redfin's chief economist predicts here's why they will still be out of reach for many buyers. Now, reading that, okay, home prices are going to fall, but I actually pulled up the data that they're referencing, and here is what Redfin's actually saying. Home prices will fall by 1%. You know, 1% doesn't really move the needle very much, but... Prices will fall 1% year over year in the second and third quarters when the home selling season is in full swing. So this is national data that they're referencing here, not specifically the Chicago market, but even on a national level, if you're looking at prices falling 1%, um, that, that's not going to change affordability very much for most buyers. And other points of interest uh, in this data that they provided here, they predict that home sales will increase and end the year up by about 5%. That just means that more homes will be selling throughout the year. And looking at their graph, they're looking at sales increasing their pace throughout the year. So pretty much as we move through the year, more and more homes will be selling. So seeing that number rise is, is definitely something favorable for buyers. If we look at the prediction on mortgage rates here, they predict that mortgage rates will steadily de decline but remain above 6%. And looking at their details here for 2024, they're predicting first quarter of 24 to, for rates to be at around 7%, and then declining to 6.9 in the second quarter, 6.7 in the third quarter, and 6.6 .6 in the fourth quarter. If we look at how much money that saves for a buyer uh, taking a 30-year fixed rate loan, every 1% drop in interest rate is going to be about a 10% savings on their payment. Um, and so for rates to go from 8% uh, in the third quarter of 2023 uh, down to below 7% in 2024, um, that, that's about 10% savings in terms of what a buyer uh, would have if prices stay the same in those periods, um, but just the amount of money that they'd be saving on the actual uh, mortgage payment uh, because of interest rates being lower. So. Um, lower rates definitely will help affordability for buyers, assuming that isn't countered by prices increasing um, for those buyers in those areas. If home prices rise, um, that could be offset by lower mortgage rates. And so for some buyers, lower mortgage rates but higher home prices will probably equate to a very similar uh, monthly payment, depending on where you are. Okay, so looking at data from CoreLogic, and they crunch a literal ton of data here we can see that year over year for November, um, home prices are up 5.2% nationally and they forecast prices to rise 2.5% year over year. And that's from November 2023 to November 2024. They do point to areas in the Northeast, South and Midwest um, where relative affordability continues to drive demand. And those areas posted the strongest home price increases. Looking at the map here, anything pink or red uh, shows a higher percentage 
uh, year over year change in prices. And so you can see uh, Illinois as the state there um, being in that pink, um, which is a five to seven percent increase uh, as a state. And then diving down uh, into the cities with the best performance. Um, this data is through November 2023. Uh, it shows that Chicago uh, price is being up six and a half percent, really towards the top end of the rise in prices across the U.S., uh, being outpaced by uh, Miami, San Diego. Uh, but even recent data that we're seeing is uh, home price growth in Detroit is now outpacing that growth of Miami. Um, so how things change. Now, it isn't all sunshine and rainbows from CoreLogic. They do release their list of top markets at risk of home price declines. And you can see it's areas that for the most part performed overly well are probably going to be given back some of their gains. Now, if you've subscribed to this channel and hit that notifications button, you'll know that I put out videos throughout the year and I like to refer to what's going on specifically in the Chicago and the suburbs versus nationally, because what's going on in here might not necessarily reflect what's happening in the rest of the U.S. And now one of the sources I like to consult for that is put out by the University of Illinois at Chicago, and that is from the UIC Stewart Handler Department of Real Estate, uh, run by Daniel McMillan, who is the professor of real estate for the University of Illinois at Chicago. And so that department does crunch the local numbers and it gives us reports on what they see is happening locally. And I combine that with what I'm seeing through my access in the MLS to be able to give you a much more local approach to what's going on in home sales and home prices for Chicago and for the suburbs. So if we check out what uh, happened uh, through the end of no, uh, November of 2023, which is the latest data that was available when I'm making this video, you know, we can see for the Chicago metro area, home prices year over year were up nine and a half percent for the Chicago metro area. So that's the counties of Cook, DeKalb, DuPage, Grundy, Kane, Kendall, Lake, McHenry, and Will counties. So the greater Chicago land area. The median sales price was up nine and a half percent. The inventory of home sales was down 25.5%. And the days on the market was also down, down by 17%. Now, if we compare and contrast that to what's going on within the city of Chicago, we can see the numbers there show the median sales price is up 5%. Um, again, November of 2023 versus November of 2022. And the inventory of homes for sale is down 25.1%. The days in the market's lower, but not quite as drastically as for the greater Chicago land area. Days in the market is only down by 5.7%. So that means that homes are selling a little bit faster compared to the same month last year. And we've seen that reflected in the numbers with the suburbs outperforming the city um, for a while now when you know a lot of that happened with more people working from home um, with COVID and just some of the crime that's been making the news in the city until that really gets resolved where we see a much, much larger amount of people returning to the offices um, and that getting that crime under control in the city there's just nothing showing that, that it's going to change and that the suburbs will continue to be stronger than the city. Um, now, the city market as a whole um, it is not the same in one neighborhood versus another. We've seen much more preferred areas outperforming areas like um, like Roscoe Village, like Lincoln Park have been doing very well. Uh, but then if you get into the uh, the core downtown markets, uh, you know, they, they did better in 23 than they did in 22. Uh, but just it, it's still lagging uh, a lot of the outskirts of uh, Chicago comparatively. 2024 probably will be more of the same for the city where the uh, those preferred areas will continue doing well, continue seeing very low inventory. Uh, and, you know, like I mentioned, with the, the downtown markets, we got to see some changes before we see, you know, in bigger improvements there. And, you know, a lot of that has to do with a balancing out of the supply and demand. Um, you know, for now, we're still seeing uh, a lot more supply than the, there is demand for those areas. And once that, you know, that turns, we'll see the um, overall market time come down for the city.
And if we look at what the numbers are forecasted to look like for 2024, we can see here the Chicagoland median home sales prices month by month, looking at this orangish, dark reddish line here. Uh, and that's compared to the other colors, which are the past uh, three years, 2021, 2022, and 2023. And so we see this dark orange line uh, consistently being higher every single month for this year compared to what it was last year uh, in terms of the median home sales price. This is for the Chicago land market. Um, if you want to look at this from a different perspective, from a, a straight up numbers perspective, and we can see uh, for the Chicago land market uh, how prices start climbing in January and move through, move up throughout the year, uh, peak in June. So remember the homes that actually register as being sold in June, likely went under contract the month before, so either late April or early May. And then we see from there the prices peak and then move down throughout the year. And that just really uh, aligns with how seasonal it is in the Chicagoland area, where most people looking to move uh, align with schools and with the seasons. And then the homes that are still in the market uh, in the latter half of the year price accordingly uh, with the demand to make sure that they can get sold and reduce prices uh, through the year, uh, the further in as we get into the year. Now, a big wild card we really want to keep our eyes on is the interest rates, because if interest rates do move significantly lower throughout the year, that will make it more affordable for more buyers to be able to get back into the market. And we may find that depending on how quickly rates would fall, because they are projected to fall in the year, depending on how quickly the rates would fall in the year, that would potentially uh, have more buyers come into the market. And if the sellers aren't listing fast enough to keep up with that buyer demand, we may see those buyers move through whatever inventory we have and push prices up. So as homes become more affordable for buyers because money becomes more affordable in terms of interest rates coming down and it becoming cheaper to buy a house, that might push more buyers into the market and have the opposite effect, meaning it'll push prices higher if the inventory of available homes, the amount of sellers that are selling their homes, doesn't keep up with how quickly buyers might be able to re-enter the market because they can find that they afford more with rates coming down. So definitely something big to keep an eye on this year because the forecast is that rates will be coming down through the year. And if they move down quickly or faster than anticipated versus a steady pace like we reviewed earlier in this video, that may have an impact on home prices also. So will we see sellers rush to list their homes this year to be able to take advantage of the elevated prices? Well, if we look at the monthly comparison to previous years, we can see the bottom line here is the dark orange line and the amount of home sales this year will be very close to what it was last year, if not lower. So it, it, the forecast really shows uh, the home sales to be very similar to last year. Not really a big rush for people to list. Now, if I see that changing this year with uh, inventory rising very rapidly, I'll definitely include it in my uh, market update videos that I'll post here. So definitely make sure that if you are not subscribed and haven't hit that notifications button, do so. Um, you'll get the latest updates. Um, so how are you feeling about all this? Do you feel like this is going to be the year that you buy or sell? Uh, do you feel that it's going to be better than last year? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know the areas that you're looking at. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.